Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I have a get it all done with me for you guys. I did a little bit of spring decorating and then I did a deep clean of my refrigerator and worked on creating some freezer meals. I had originally planned on doing a lot more decorating for spring, but we recently moved and I did not have all that much. And this particular week, we found out that there was a case of COVID-19 within my son's school district. And so his school was the first in our state to start closing. So it's been a little bit crazy. Um, and we've just, you know, been trying to stay inside as much as possible. So I felt like going shopping for spring decor was not what was most important right now. Initially, I planned to place these little flower arrangements in two separate spots on our staircase, but I ended up feeling like they looked better when they were together just in one area. Our refrigerator was a complete disaster. I knew that I wanted to create some freezer meals so that we were prepared when the baby comes, but I did not realize that the schools were going to close. Um, so really we just kind of lucked out that I had gone to the grocery store and made a pretty big purchase so that we could do those freezer meals um, because right now there's pretty much nothing around us in any of the grocery stores so I'm glad that I did stock up when I did. So I started by taking everything out of the fridge and then I used the Method antibacterial spray to wipe everything clean. I had planned on trying to create enough freezer meals and a stockpile so that I didn't have to leave the house for the first four weeks after I have the baby. But at this point, I have just a few freezer meals made and I don't know <laughs> when we will be able to stock up for the baby because of everyone kind of panic buying right now. Let me know in the comments if you've noticed that in your area because it's gotten pretty crazy around here. There's no toilet paper, no cleaning supplies, or well, no like disinfecting supplies or hand sanitizers, hand soaps, meat, and produce is also becoming pretty sparse at the moment. Um, we're trying not to like freak out and panic buy things ourselves, but we did want to have enough so that I didn't have to leave after having the baby, but I may just have to plan on using grocery delivery service for those first few weeks. I started by taking everything out of the main area and wiping it down and then reorganizing it all and putting it back. After that, I gave the refrigerator a little bit of time to be closed and get back up to temp because it had dropped a couple degrees before I moved on to all of the condiments and things in the side.
There is something so satisfying about having your refrigerator clean and organized. I do try to keep most of the things that the kids can reach for towards the bottom. So you'll see like in the drawer, I have juice boxes and like fresh produce, things that I want them to reach for more often. Now that my refrigerator is all cleaned out and organized, I went ahead and started prepping some of the freezer meals. I saw a recipe for these like pizza muffins on Pinterest and I'll put the link for those in the description box, but it called for a lot of ingredients that I did not have. So I just kind of created this um, pizza biscuit recipe. It's just Bisquick and then I used their like normal biscuit recipe and added some pizza sauce, pepperoni, and cheese to it. And you'll see me go back and add more milk and more pizza sauce just because the dough consistency wasn't where I wanted it to be. I think that these would be better if you added some like Italian seasoning and some salt and pepper into it as well because they were a little bit bland. But my boys absolutely love them. I will put the recipe in the description box below for you guys in case you want to try them. I went ahead and washed the broccoli crowns and then I just cut them up. My kiddos don't like broccoli stems so I know that I could just buy a bag of frozen broccoli but it seems like there are more stems <laughs> in the freezer bag so I just do it myself. Broccoli and Brussels sprouts roasted are about the only vegetables I can guarantee my kids will actually eat, which seems so weird to me because I would expect them to be more interested in things like green beans or carrots, but broccoli and Brussels sprouts, that's about all I can always count on for them to eat. After I put them in their bags, I just add some rosemary, some salt, and some pepper into the bags, kind of shake it up, and then freeze them and on each bag I wrote that they need to be roasted at 350 with some oil we use avocado oil but you can use whatever oil you want but you just drizzle some oil over them roast them at 350 until they're done um, I just went ahead and wrote that on there that way Jacob would know what to do
Another meal I can always count on everyone in my house eating is brown sugar meatloaf. I went ahead and made, I think, four batches of it, and I'll include that recipe in the description box below as well. I am really bad with measurements, you guys. I generally just go off of the way things like look or feel as to how much I put in everything. I think over time you just kind of, you know what you use for certain recipes and you don't think about it. And so now I've, I've forgotten, I just dump, dump things in there. <laughs> At this point in the day, Jacob had put the boys to bed for me and so I put him to work. <laughs> So you'll see little mango bites on that wax paper as I'm working on the meatloaf. I didn't include that recipe in this video because we hadn't tried it yet, but um, my youngest really likes them and I enjoy them, but Jacob and Owen do not care for the mango bites. So I will put that recipe in the description box as well, but You'll just get like a little glimpse of them as Jacob's rolling them out for me. I used these little mini loaf pans to make individual servings for Jacob and I. And then I did a cupcake pan for individual servings for the boys. And I had enough to make two full-sized meatloafs so that we could have two actual dinners out of them as well. So this should last us a while. And that is it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these motivating cleaning, get it all done videos, or you're interested in any kind of baby prepping and motherhood videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.